Welcome to the Capital Theater Conversations, Industry Edition. This series of educational and informative offerings is made possible by the generous support of our sponsor, the law firm Capuza Lighty, PLLC, with additional support from Baker Boyer Bank, Fresh Hop Group, G.H. Moen LLC, The Moen Family, Red and Carolyn Ramsey, Yakima Sunrise Rotary, and from donors just like you. Hi, this is Charlie Robin, CEO of the Capitol Theater. While this pandemic is currently playing havoc with most every aspect of our lives, uh, it is the loss of the individuals who have succumbed to this virus that we feel most, most deeply. And the arts industry has certainly lost its fair share of luminaries. And we'd like to pay a tribute to a few of those through these Capital Conversations Industry Editions. This particular episode, we are going to pay tribute to screenwriter, playwright, musical lyricist, Terrence McNally. He passed at 81. He had quite the notable career spanning six decades. And he won an Emmy, he won five Tonys. In addition to the Lifetime Achievement Award, he also won for Best Play, for Love, Valor, Compassion, and also for Masterclass. He won Best Book for a Musical for Ragtime, which we at the Capitol know and love, uh, as well as Kiss of the Spider Woman. Now, his credits are extensive and certainly only tell part of the story. Fortunately, a friend of mine was a friend of his, and I am thrilled to invite Luke Yankee to have a conversation with us and share a few stories a little bit more of a personal touch on uh, who was the man beyond all of the amazing credits. I am so thrilled to welcome Luke Yankee joining me here. Uh, Luke is a longtime friend, also uh, it was a longtime friend of Terrence McNally, uh, actually multi-generational, both he and his mother. Uh, Luke, it's great to have you with us, thank you. Thanks, Charlie, delighted to be here. Really? Yeah, as you mentioned, it, it was multi-generational. Um, my mother was an actress named Eileen Heckert, who was in the Theater Hall of Fame and won an Academy Award for the film Butterflies Are Free. And uh, among her many Broadway credits, she actually starred in Terrence McNally's very first Broadway play, which was uh, a big flop, <laughs> as all writers have. Yeah. And uh, it was called And Things That Go Bump in the Night. And um, I don't know a great deal about it. This would have been around 1965, I believe. Okay. And um, uh, I do know that it was one of the, it was significant in that it was one of the first plays to have openly gay characters. And wow. that, was, th that, that was very revolutionary in 1965. Yeah. And um, uh, my mother had a, a very uh, extravagant part. I think she was lured by this very grand role. And, um, uh, and, and she and Terrence became very close and remained close for the rest of their lives. And uh, I remember I, I went to see Terrence last year out in East Hampton. He had a beautiful home out there uh, in a suburb called Watermill, just a glorious place. And he told me, um, I, this punchline, the punchline to this story is slightly off color. So I'm, <laughs> I've given you a little warning. You're good. So <laughs> Terrence told me that he vowed to himself that he would never set foot in Sardi's, the famous theatrical restaurant, until it was the opening night of one of his Broadway plays and that he could sort of go in there legitimately. Yeah. So they had the opening night uh, party for and things that go bump in the night in Sardis. And so he was so excited to walk in on my mother's arm. And as he walked in, the audience rose to their feet and started applauding and cheering. And he's thinking to himself, my first time in Sardis and they're giving me a standing ovation. And then he looked behind him and said to himself, it's not for me, you asshole. It's for Eileen Eckert. <laughs> <laughs> because my mother was a very substantial Broadway star at the time. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. But, but I, I love that Terrence was so self-effacing that he told that story about himself. I mean, that was yeah. just the kind of sweet, loving, humble, down-to-earth man he was. And in fact, his, um, his husband, Tom Curtehay, is a major, major Broadway producer, produced right. Hades Town and uh, The Inheritance, and just an, a, a major force on Broadway these days, and also a very lovely man. So we're out there at their home in the Hamptons, and um, uh, Tom suddenly says, Terrence, would you like to show Luke his mother? 
And I thought, well, that, that's kind of a strange comment. And so Terrence leads me into the hallway and there was uh, the Hirschfeld caricature, the original one for And Things That Go Bump in the Night. Oh. And, um, uh, it's a wonderful Hirschfeld of my mom. And so had a wonderful picture taken of Terrence uh, and mom and me standing together in the hallway of his home. It was, it was a very touching moment. I believe this was just about a month after Terrence had received uh, his Lifetime Achievement Tony Award. And yeah. I believe it was his, uh, his fifth, uh, fourth or, no, he had four he had actual four. Tony Awards and a Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, he, he was just an incredible man, an incredible force. And uh, uh, he and Tom had just a, an extraordinary relationship, just the loves of each other's lives. Yeah. And yeah. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I'm thinking, because it was just about a year ago this time that we had that extraordinary visit with him. And so uh, I've been thinking about him a lot and thinking about that a lot in particular. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. That is, that is just beautiful and a, and a wonderful personal uh, remembrance. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I have, I have that, li that short list of people that I just regret not having the chance to meet from this industry and, and he, and the groundbreaking um, work he did, the, the amazing uh, stand he was for his, his own um, uh, sexuality for his own presence in the community for who he stood for you know and his authenticity is always something that I've so admired so and knowing that Ab absolutely and there is a, a brilliant documentary about his life called every act of life uh, I believe it came out about two years ago and uh, as a playwright myself it, it's so incredibly inspiring and I mean like anyone who's had a uh, a certain amount of career longevity, there are highs and there are lows. Yeah. Yeah. And he talks very candidly about all of them. And um, it also features Arthur McDonald and Nathan Lane and Joe, my friend Joe Mantello, yeah. and so many incredible people who worked with Terrence. And um, uh, it, I find it so inspiring, Charlie. I must have seen it five or six times at this point. It's really a brilliant documentary. I highly recommend it. Thank you for sharing so much. And I look forward to having you back on for another more extensive chat about the work that you've been up to as well. Thank you. That's great, thank you. And one last time, I wanna thank Luke Yankee for being so generous with his time, sharing with us some insight into the man and some humorous moments as well. Also wanna take the time to thank our sponsors. Coming along with us on a ride for a lot of new things, trying out some new opportunities as we try not only capital conversations that are related to the industry, but also capital conversations related to the community. And also check out our musical moments. Please remember to stay connected while we are all mindfully keeping apart. Thanks so much.